plan for today's dinner was to track down some kui, which is like a grilled guinea pig. However, we ran into some trouble. The first restaurant was closed, and the second one is not able to prepare it mid afternoon because they're making bread in their oven. So instead, today we're going to be trying some traditional food from Cusco. So we've placed our order and we're waiting for our food to arrive. I'm not entirely sure what to expect because I've never really tried food from this region. We've been eating light meals since we got to Cusco just because we're trying to deal with the altitude sickness. So, yeah, this is our first day that we're ready for a big, hearty meal. Until the meal arrives, you've got some nice bread rolls in your hand. Yeah, these were freshly baked in the oven and I can't wait to try them. We have two different kinds of spicy sauces. They're mm -hmm. both called ahi sauces. So let's take a look down here and we're gonna dunk it in. Actually, there's spoons, so I can do it a little more civilized, I suppose. And I will put a bit of, the red, a bit of red and a bit of green, and why not? Let's try that. Is that burning your mouth? Is your mouth on fire at the moment? No, I'm tasting more of the sauce than the bread. But the bread is good. It's, uh, it's melting in my mouth. And it was made in the oven right behind you. Right over there. Right over there. Fancy. So my meal has arrived. I ordered a soup and I'm having something called chairo cusqueño. And if you have a look down over here, it's basically a soup with lamb and Andean grains. I'm not sure what kind of grains those would be. Kind of looks like barley. Um, there might be some quinoa in there. I don't really know, but it's really hearty and you can see it has potatoes and carrots and celery and it looks really, really good. So let's try it. Mmm. Oh wow. That's like a nice, thick, flavorful soup. Um, can't really tell what these little green leaves are. I wonder if it's parsley or cilantro. Mmm. But it's really nice. I like that it has a really a thick texture because of the potato that breaks apart and then you obviously have the grains and the meat. I still haven't tried the meat. Here's my lamb. So yeah, that is really nice. It's the kind of dish you want to order on a really cold day to warm you up. I like that it's um, served in a nice cute little bowl. You can warm up your hands. <laughs> I'm a little bit chilly in case you can't tell. So yeah, good soup. And you ordered something called pachapapa and we're not entirely sure if that's the name that the restaurant gave to the meal or if that's really what the meal is called in this, <laughs> yeah, in this part of Peru. We have no idea. We just came <laughs> to this restaurant, ordered it on a whim. And so what I'm thrilled about is if we take a look at our, my plate, uh -huh. is that I've got a lot of different stuff going on. I've got oh, a yeah. salad, I've got the meat, I've got the tamale, I've got potatoes covered in cheese, mm -hmm. and I have some kind of stuffed pepper. But... Being the carnivore that I am, I think I will try the meat first. And can you tell us what kind of meat this is? Because it's not beef. Yeah. It is alpaca it is? meat. Alpaca, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> so, pretty special. So, dig in. I've never tried alpaca before. Mm. Does it taste like beef? Chicken or fish? It tastes something like kind of in between chicken and beef. Mm -hmm. This particular cut is really tender and has a lot of seasonings on it, so it's quite good. It's not as gamey as I thought it would be. Alright, time to try my tamale. And the tamale is made with corn, mm. yellow corn. Mm. What's in there? What's in there? That's one of the best tamales I've ever had. I think it's got, yeah, it's got cheese in there. Mm. Oh my, I'm getting that food envy all of a sudden. So good. You better hope I share with you. <laughs> Okay, so my kind husband is willing to share the stuffed pepper, which I was told has beef and vegetables and melted cheese on top. So let's take a good chunk, since he's in the mood to share. It's not so much I'm in the mood to share, I'm just not sure if I can eat it all myself. Mm. That's like ground beef. 
and man, that's actually spicy. My tongue is on fire right now. Mmm. But it's tasty, obviously, because I'm still chewing. Yeah, nice. I like that you have a very full plate and you get to sample a little bit of everything. So we tried to make this as authentic of a meal in Cusco as we possibly could. So I got my Cuscania beer. And tomorrow we're going to try to find Cooey. <laughs>